let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you see it. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a nap at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Navigate a nostril, climb on the magic school bus. Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic school bus. How come we got stuck selling? Light bulbs. Yeah, whose bright idea was this? Carlos. At my old school, we sold chocolates for the Valentine's Day fun drive. Uh, how many light bulbs do we have left? Uh, all, all of them. them. Come on, you Weasley Wimps. There's got to be someone around here who will buy one. Hey, look. Is it just me, or does this fountain remind you of someone? Miss Frizzle's house. Come on, guys. Miss Frizzle will buy a light bulb. Maybe two. Hurry. I hope she's here. What kind of doorbell is that? A lizardy bell? Carlos. How does it work? It's easy, Arnold. Just flip up the handle like the green arrow shows. See? I didn't hear anything. Maybe it's broken. Maybe you broke it, one. Me? Oh, no. You think I did? Perhaps. Possibly. Probably. I'd better go find Miss Frizzle if she's home. Maybe she's in the backyard. Come on. There's the bus. She must be home. There she is. <laughs> you must know what I'm talking about when I say there's always been a real attraction between the two. And when they join together, the sparks really fly. I certainly do know what he's talking about. Oh, Liz, that must be him now. Miss Frizzle here. Oh, hi, it's Valerie. <laughs> I was hoping it was you. I positively need you. <laughs> you always do give me a charge. Did you hear that? <gasps> Shh. Oh, yes, it would just spark up my day. I would love it if you'd come ring my bell. <gasps> Fifteen minutes, I'll be waiting. Oh, just a little bit more. <gasps> oh, perfect. Wow. So that's how she gets her hair to do that. Forget her hair? Think of what she said. I positively need you. You give me a charge? Tim, Miss Bristol's in love. Guys, guys, guys! Miss Bristol has a secret valentine. We heard her invite him over. Miss Bristol has a valentine? But, but she's our teacher. She said I would love it if you'd just come over and ring my bell. Oh. Too bad she won't be able to hear it. You're right. I broke it. Maybe we just better go tell Miss Frizzle what happened. Keisha, are you kidding? This is the love of our life we're talking about. He's on his way to ring her bell now. We're just going to have to fix the bell before he gets here. Good idea, Juan. Only one problem. We don't know how. Ever get the feeling you're being watched? Good. If we go in, maybe we'll be able to find out how the bell works so we can fix it. Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, Liz. Look, 
The bell runs on electricity from that battery. It looks like everything in this house runs on batteries. It does indeed, Wanda. Safe but powerful, don't you think? Miss Frizzle! Oh, what a lovely jolt it is to see you all on a Saturday. Come in, come in. Got any ideas? Not yet. Um, we're uh, selling light bulbs for the fun drive, but uh, it looks like you have plenty of them already. Bright lights, big electricity. That's my motto, Arnold. Hey, Tim, over here. Look at this. Wow! Ooh, snappy spark, Wanda. Where'd it come from? If you really want to see, you'll get a charge out of these. I call them specs. Special electrical charge spotters. I'll just grab a balloon, brush firmly, and... Miss Frizzle, there's red stuff piling up on your hair. And blue stuff on the balloon. Is that stuff electricity? They're electric charges, to be exact. The specks color them red and blue so you can see them. You're right, Miss Frizzle. Without the specks, the charges are invisible. But they're all around us. Ah, the two kinds of charges like to stay together. But when I rub my hair with the balloon, the rubbing pulls them apart. Red charges tragically separated from blue charges longing for each other. Longing for each other? Oh. But what makes a spark? When blue and red charges join back together again, ooh, sparks fly. I get it. Rubbing the balloon separated the charges. And when they came together again, they sparked. As my Aunt Salsa used to say about my Uncle Pepper, opposites attract. Oh, romantic, isn't it? This is serious. So, a spark is what happens when opposite charges quickly move back together. Oh, a positively electric conclusion, Tim. So, is the electricity inside things like lights and doorbells also charges trying to move back together? Yes, it is. If you could go inside this wire, that's what you'd find. Moving charges. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'd better get moving. So, if you'd like to keep the goggles. Gee, thanks, Miss Frizzle. Uh, we'd better get moving, too. Are you sure? Because you're welcome to stay. No, no. <laughs> I'm sure you've got something really important to do. We'll just let ourselves out. In that case, I'll get ready for my big connection. This man must be important if she calls him her big connection. And the big connection will be here any minute. What do we do now? We've got to fix that doorbell. Uh, Liz? Great job, Liz! <laughs> now somebody, throw me a walkie-talkie! Here you go, Wanda. So, uh, what's the plan? I thought you guys could check out the doorbell while I keep a lookout for Miss Frizzle! Hit it, Liz! <laughs> The light bulb, Liz. We need to check out the doorbell. Wow! I've never seen a light bulb from the inside out before. What's it like? It's really cool. Correction, it's really hot. Let's get out of here. Wait! Can you get inside the wire like Ms. Frizzle said? If we find out what makes the light bulb light up, maybe we can figure out the doorbell. Now that's a bright idea. Amazing! They're inside the wire. Liz, is that you? What are you doing? Oh, that's a good one. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I do love electric jokes, especially if they're shocking. <laughs> hey, you guys, what's happening inside that wire? It's really cool, Wanda. 
The inside of the wire is filled with electric charges, and they're moving. It's like a river. And we're getting swept downstream. Right. It's as if we're being carried along by a current. That must be what they mean by electric current. Whoa! Where are we going? Wherever those charges go! It's getting really crowded in here. And hot. I'll bet we're inside that skinny wire in the bulb. According to my research, this skinny hot wire we're in is the filament. It's what makes the light bulb glow. Look, it's so narrow, the charges are rubbing and squeezing to get through. Electric charges on the move. Don't worry, you're traveling through the wire from the bulb to the battery. Wow, we must have been pulled in by those red charges behind us. Opposites attract, remember? But now we're being pulled along with all the blue charges. Whoa! Now you're out of the battery and heading down the other wire back to the light bulb. Oh no, here we go again. According to my research, which is very hard to do when going around like this, the circular path we're caught in is called an electrical circuit. I get it. That's it. The light bulb works because a battery makes the electrical charges move through a wire to the light bulb to the wire again, back to the battery, around and around. And the moving charges heat up the filament and the bulb as they go past. Oh, sweet mysteries of life. <gasps> Wanda, what's the matter? Shh, it's Miss Frizzle. If there's no flow, it's no go. And if it's no go, then there's no glow. Oh, poor Miss Frizzle. This is worse than I thought. Miss Frizzle's gone out to the garage. It looks like she's decorating the whole place with heart-shaped lights. Wanda, help! Oh, here we go again! We can't stop going around and around this circuit. I think I'm gonna be sick. Not as sick as Miss Frizzle will be if we don't fix the doorbell. Only she'll be lovesick. Oops. What happened? We've stopped moving. Everything stopped moving. The electric charges aren't going anywhere. It's like Miss Frizzle said. If there's no flow, it's no go. And if it's no go, then there's no glow. But if I complete the path of the wire again... Whoa! We're moving! Break the path again. You stop. Get it? We stop. Flow. No flow. Flow. No flow. We got it, Wanda. We got it. It's like traffic going over a drawbridge. When the drawbridge goes up, the traffic stops. And when it goes down and completes the path, the traffic can move again. But Wanda, if we don't move out of here, Miss Frizzle's big connection will come and try to ring our bell. You're right. But through no fault of her own, the bell won't work. So she won't know he's there. But he'll think she's not answering on purpose. That she doesn't love him anymore. And then... He'll leave! Miss Frizzle's happiness will be ruined forever! that makes the electric charges move to the doorbell. And here is the path they move along. Wanda, is the doorbell switch still in the on position so the charges can flow? Good question, Tim. I'll go check. Bell switch on. Okay. From what we can see, the wire runs from the side of the battery to the on-off switch. Then it connects up with the motor that makes the hammer hit the bell and runs back to the battery to complete the circuit. So it should work. But it doesn't. Since the bell isn't going, the charges must not be flowing. 
There must be a break in the path somewhere. And if there is, you'll find it. Right? Right! Just as we thought. None of these charges are moving. It's just like it wasn't the light bulb when Wanda stopped the flow. It's no use, Liz. Those charges aren't going anywhere. There must be a break in the path somewhere. And it's up to you to find out where it is. You got it, Juan. We're heading out on foot. You better hurry, or Miss Frizzle and her valentine will pass like opposite charges in a battery. Did you find anything yet? Man, it's like a traffic jam in here. Nothing is moving. These charges are stuck. Wait, I think I see something. Come on, everyone. Let's make like electricity and charge. We're almost there. Wow. I guess we found the problem. The wire is broken. You said it. And it's a long way down. Crowley! What happened? What's going on? We found the break in the wire. Some charges are red, others are blue. Hook up the wires and light will come through. Mm, it won't be long now. Mm, it won't be long now. Better. Positively electrifying. <laughs> you, that was close. Too close. You guys all right in there? We are now. Where's the brake? Maybe I can fix it from out here. It's between the motor and the battery. Between the motor and the battery. Hmm. The switch is off to be on the safe side. Now, the wire goes from the switch to the motor, and then from the motor to... The break right here. That's it, Wanda. All right, Wanda. You found us. The electric charges need a way across. Can you build us a bridge? I could if I had some wire or something else metal. Wait a second. Yes. May I have one of those? Thank you. Where? On the chocolates. I'm going to try to wrap it around the wires. I hope this connection works. It looks good from here. It better, or this love story's gonna have an unhappy ending. Everyone back in the bus? Ready. Here we go. Path complete. <laughs> we did it. No way she wouldn't have heard that bell. Well, if she's not inside, I bet she's back out at the garage. Come on! She's not here? Maybe she's inside the garage. Miss Frizzle, are you in there? The door is jammed shut. And if she's in there, she'll miss her big connection. No wonder. Check out that yucky old battery. It's all rusty. I bet it doesn't work. And if the battery doesn't work, then the charges aren't moving. It's like there's a break in the circuit. Just like the doorbell. But to open the door, the charges have to move from the battery, in through the switch, 
to the motor and back again. All we have to do is get a new battery. But before we do anything, let's turn the switch off, just to be safe. Where are we going to get a battery like that? A battery bus! Way to go, Liz! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the switch goes on! We did it! We've got flow and go! Hooray! Miss Frizzle? She's not in here. Where'd she go? Looks like she flew with the flow out this door. <gasps> it's Miss Frizzle's big connection. He's here. Oh, there you are, class. I want you to meet Mr. Ampere, my electrician. Your electrician? You kids did a bang up job fixing this doorbell. You knew the doorbell was broken, Miss Frizzle? Of course I knew, Wanda. I called Mr. Ampere the minute I found out. But I see you did my work for me. You kids really know your electricity. You might say we're electric fans. <laughs> that must be Carlos. He is indeed. And now that the bell is working, everyone ready for a transforming experience? Whatever you say, Miss Frizzle. <laughs> Good. It's my big connection. One end of my wire connects to the doorbell motor, and the other connects to the switch to make one magnificent circuit. Mr. Ampere, would you care to light up my life? I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, Ms. Frizzle. Reminds me of old times down at the power plant. I got the idea from reading your latest pamphlet. When joined together, the sparks really fly. Pamphlet? But I thought it was a love letter. When they join together, the sparks really fly? Who knew? Say, are those light bulbs uh, for sale? You bet. Would you like to buy one? One? I'll take them all. Well, class. Consider yourselves sold out. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? Magic School Bus, the producer speaking. Hi, I just saw your show on electricity, and my mom told me never to play with electricity in my house. Batteries are fine, she said, but the electricity we use to power our homes is very dangerous. Your mom's right. We made the electricity in Ms. Frizzle's house all come from batteries so it would be safe for the class. Flashlights, for example, are safe to handle, but the electricity in your house is much, much more powerful and, as you said, can be dangerous. That's right. You should never, ever touch bare wires. Any place, any time. Right. And don't ever play with electrical cords, plugs, or outlets either. You got it. And don't forget, electricity and water do not mix. Never fiddle with anything electrical around a sink, bathtub, or shower. One more thing. Opposite charges are really called plus and minus charges, right? Right. They're called that so you can tell they're opposites. Bye. Magic school bus. What about the colors of the charges? Electricity isn't really red and blue, is it? Well, charges are really invisible, so we use the specks to color them red and blue to make it easier to tell them apart. Well, I thought it was pretty cool. I'm glad. Thanks for calling. Bye. Oh, Liz, is that for me? <laughs> and these are for you. <laughs> this is great, Liz. Happy Valentine's Day.